Hi, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Dr. Latrice Montgomery, and the purpose of this channel is to discuss marijuana from a scientific perspective, as well as a host of other research and psychology related tasks, activities, issues, etc. So, if you saw in my previous video where I did Day in the Life, one of the things that I talked about was what a research psychologist is, what we do on, a on typical days, and I talked about how these next few follow-up videos would also cover what some of my days look like. So, if you haven't seen the first video, I would suggest going back, taking a look at that, and then coming back over to this video so you'll have a better sense of what's going on, because I'm kind of all over the place, but... You'll get it once you see that first video and see, uh, just kind of understand what a research psychologist does. So, as noted before, um, there's a lot that needs to get done, as always. Today's no exception. There's a lot of things that need to be done. So, I'm going to go ahead, jump right in. Thank you so much for coming back and for tuning in. So, let's go ahead, get our day started. If you remember, I actually have a top three method that I use um, that I brought from Erin on Demand, um, where just those three priority areas that I need to focus on for the day with my plus one addition, just for some self care, make sure that I do something just to feed into myself, give back to myself, and not get too consumed with everybody and everything else. So that's what my uh, plan, just what you, what my days typically look like. So. I'm going to show you today what the top three priorities are. So let me go ahead. I'm going to bring you all over here to my sheets. And again, as I said before, my handwriting is not the best, so please forgive me. But there are three things that I need to get done today. And um, the first thing is reviewing manuscripts. And I know in the last video I talked about this a little bit, but I'm going to do something a bit different today. So uh, I'll tell you about that. The second thing that I need to get done is I have to meet with a student for about an hour. So that should be fun. I'm going to do that. And then I also have to submit a paper or submit a manuscript as well. So. I'll tell you about that. And again, keep in mind, these are just the top three things that need to get done. There are like a host of other things that need to get done, like a whole bunch of stuff that need to get done. This is just the top three for today, but it's a lot that need to get done, but it'll get done. And then, of course, the plus one is a documentary, which is um, kind of like for fun, but also for work. So I'll tell you some about that. But all right, here's three plus one for today. A lot to get done. So let's go ahead, jump right in. Okay, so you'll notice that I'm in a different part of the house and that is because I work here all day long so I have to switch it up or else I will just lose my mind. So um, I try to pick different spaces in the house, get my energy right and get to work. So as I said, the first thing up on the list is I am an associate editor for a journal, an addiction journal. And um, part of that involves reviewing manuscripts. So what exactly does that mean? Now go back to my other video where I talked a little bit about this, but basically today I need to spend probably like an hour or two just catching up on tasks related to being an associate editor. So what does that even mean? So you probably have seen in the news, uh, this study found X, Y, and Z, or particularly as it relates to COVID, or you're hearing all of these different things about vaccines, etc. So whenever research is being conducted and we have findings, they need to be presented to the world or disseminated. And so part of that process of dissemination is submitting your work, so writing up what you did and what you found um, as a research team, and then submitting that paper to an academic journal. Now, there are academic journals for, um, for all different types of specialties, um, including addiction, and um, I am an associate editor for one of those journals. And basically what my task is, is that when uh, an article comes in, the articles that are assigned to me, it's my job to read through that article and determine if that article is a good fit for the journal. And also to determine if um, I feel that it will withstand the review process uh, within our particular journal. 
So uh, there are many different papers that are often come up in the queue. So that means reading through those, each of those papers and making sure that the correct reviewers are identified because there have to be at least two to three reviewers. Um, independent reviewers who take a look at the paper as well. And so it's my job to sort of co coordinate that review. So if one, to determine is it suitable for me to then send out to other people to look at, but then to also make sure that I um, actually identify those individuals. And um, this is a task that we do uh, freely. And so thank you so much to all the reviewers out there, myself included. I also review um, other for articles for different journals as well. So. So it is, it can be a lot of work, um, but it is a part of the service that we do because we're all publishing and presenting and um, so it's important work that uh, definitely doesn't always get the recognition it deserves, but, uh, but I certainly appreciate it, so thank you. So uh, my job, again, as I said, is to kind of have like, I'm looking at my cue, so I have a few manuscripts that I need to look at, review, and determine whether or not I want to send them out to reviewers. And then typically what happens in this process is that once it's um, once I identify two reviewers, they agree to it and they actually review the paper. They usually have about two to four weeks to do it. Once they review the paper, it then comes back to me. I take a look at the feedback and um, determine whether or not it needs to be sent back to the authors so that they can revise it and resubmit it for further consideration or if it needs to be rejected from the journal or if it's just, you know, a write out except. And so um, basically as an associate editor, the papers that I'm assigned, I have to see them, the, all the papers that I receive throughout the entire process. So the reviewing of it and then the submission of a final decision of whether or not it will be published in that particular journal. Uh, so as you might imagine, um, there are uh, oftentimes a lot of papers that come up and there are a few associate editors and then also an editor who makes the final, final decision about whether or not articles will be included within the journal. So it's a very uh, fun process, but it, it, it takes a while. So what I try to do is devote at least, I would say maybe, I would probably say like three to four hours each week. It just depends on how many papers are in the queue and how many are coming back in. And I try to go and check it at least every day. But I do have some days where I just kind of take time to sit down and really just make sure that um, all the papers have been read and that they're all um, are under review or they don't need additional reviewers or et cetera, et cetera. So that's what I need to do today. So I'm going to spend some time doing that. So you'll just kind of get a glimpse of me doing that. to the next task. The second task, as I mentioned, I have to meet with a student. So this is a student, undergrad student, who um, is working on a class assignment and her assignment, one of her assignments is to interview a research professor and learn more about their uh, career path as well as their research. So basically what we're going to do is just talk for about 30 minutes and she's prepared a list of questions for me to answer so i'm going to talk about you know that i'm a clinical psychologist and i uh, primarily do uh, research and i'm going to tell her some about the focus of my research which you all know is on marijuana and tobacco use and coal use especially through blunts I'm also conducting research on medical marijuana and racial ethnic health disparities. So I'm going to talk to her about some of my specific studies um, and also uh, talk to her about um, some of the things that we talk about here on the channel. So stay tuned and um, I'm actually going to take this call. But one thing we've decided to do is that we're actually both going to be standing during this interview. And um, she's also, she's interviewed a few other professors today. And so she's kind of uh, getting that Zoom fatigue and kind of tired of staring at the screen and sitting in the same spot. And so am I. 
So uh, we're going to take this meeting standing up, uh, something that we just fun decided to do. So um, I'm going to do that and just kind of take a break. Because typically what I do is, um, I'm usually not standing, but typically what I do is I at least try to change my the spot in the house where I take my calls at. I even take calls in the car. Like just trying to switch it up. You know, I have to do that just to, to maintain some sanity. So you'll see me here um, talking to the student um, and just doing that interview. And like I said, this is pretty common, especially around this time, end of the semester, uh, people are kind of winding down with assignments and stuff. So uh, these kind of requests are very common. And I actually have four more interviews with students coming up um, to this direct for the end of this week and then to next week as well. So um, yeah, stay tuned, watch me do this interview. submit a manuscript. So I mentioned in the previous clip where I was talking about um, being an associate editor and having to read through all of these manuscripts and um, now is my turn to be on the other side of that process. So I actually had to write a few papers, um, actually a few that need to get down, but one in particular today that I'm working on that um, is basically ready to be submitted to a journal. So um, there, each journal has their own process in terms of how they want the paper formatted, the type of information that they want to see, et cetera. So um, I, my students who, um, if you're watching, thank you so much because you were a big help, particularly with this paper and getting it set up and ready to go for a submission. And so um, today I'm just going to kind of overlook everything, uh, just double check a few things, um, and then to also set up an account because I've never published in this journal before. So um, I need to set up an account so that I can log in and submit our paper um, and send in all of our information. And my paper will go through that same exact process that I just described um, a few moments ago. So that's what you'll see me working on now. Um, a few tips in terms of just publishing, um, particularly for students who might be working on papers or, you know, their thesis or dissertation or different projects. Um, you know, doing the science is great and um, it's one of the things that I absolutely love. But I think the most important part of what we do is actually disseminating it and, you know, sending it out to the world and letting people know what we found and, and having that to actually inform public health decisions. And so that's the part that really excites me. And so when writing up uh, my manuscripts, uh, I typically um, I'm very strategic about how I pull things together. And I often talk to my students about structuring each section. So I won't go into the details of all of that in this video. But I will say that um, it is important, for example, in the introduction, I always say that a good introduction is marked by whether or not you can make a pretty good guess about what the research question is before you even read it. And so I always say, if I read through that introduction and by the end I'm not able to predict what the study is about or what the potential research question is, chances are I need to go back to the drawing board and set the context and set the stage for the study. And these studies, um, typically, the introduction that's a really good place to kind of introduce the reader to what, what it is you're talking about and why we need to be focusing on that area. So it's a really important section of the paper. And um, papers typically are divided into an introduction section and also a, also a method section, which is basically what we have done as researchers, so how a study is designed, whether you, um, you know, randomly assigned some people to a certain condition and another group to another condition. You talk about how you did that, what was your rationale for doing that, etc., cetera, um, or whatever kind of design that you use. And then, of course, the results, what you found, what is the answer to the research question, and then the discussion is where you really get to talk about what you found, but kind of put it in context. 
So how does it fit with the rest of the literature that's out in the area um, around that topic? Is it consistent or is it inconsistent with what we would um, expect or what we see? So um, research papers are really important and they, um, you know, it's pretty much how we uh, share all of the great work that we're doing uh, with the world and with the hopes that it will make a difference in, um, you know, like I said, my area is addiction, but particularly in psychology, there's so many different areas. And um, even now, like this with the pandemic that's happening, um, and with infectious diseases, there's a lot of journals and, you know, a lot of great publications that are coming out now with the hopes of, you know, finding vaccines and finding things that can help us. So um, that's really the exciting part about uh, the work that I do. Okay, finally got through all of those tasks. Uh, still got a few more left, but I got the top three th things down for today, so I'll take it. All right, last but definitely not least, the plus one is the documentary that I mentioned. So I'm not gonna show the documentary um, on here, but what I do wanna say is that um, this documentary, documentary is actually part of um, just my own pleasure. I actually wanna watch it just because but it's also for work, and it's a documentary that will be featured on BET, and it's actually produced and narrated by the rapper Nas, and so um, they'll be talking about the marijuana industry and the black community. And so I'm excited, um, just again, out of a just curiosity perspective and just wanting to see um, everything that's being said and kind of some hearing the conversations, but it's also related to my research. And actually, the next video that you'll see from me will be a review of that documentary. So I'm going to be watching that tonight and taking a few notes. And so I hope that you're also watching or planning to watch. So that way we can have a discussion about it. And I also want to put in a plug for the video that will be out next week because I'm actually going to have someone else join me. I'm not going to say who, but it's a very special person. Um, and a, call, a friend and colleague of mine, um, medical doctor who is also a specialist in addiction. So you'll get a chance to hear different perspectives, particularly as it relates to marijuana in the black community. So I'm excited about that. Um, I hope you are as well. Like I said, I hope you take some notes because there's a lot of different discussion points that I'm sure will be raised and that we can uh, possibly talk about here on the channel. So thank you so much for tuning in. Um, and like I've always say, I, I ramble all the time, so I try to find ways to just like shut it down, cut it off. So I'm going to do that right now for myself. I'm going to shut it on down. I hope you have a good night. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time when we discuss all things weed.